Greetings, this is Bishop Jaime Soto, and during uh, this very um, earth-shaking pandemic that has, uh, has literally shaken the whole globe and is uh, here, here in California, it has impacted us in a very significant way uh, and has disrupted life as we know it. I want to assure you of my prayers uh, and, and, and also express my admiration for all the good work that is being done despite, um, uh, despite this, this pandemic that has locked many of us into our homes. And, and I'm just delighted that uh, we have here with us today Blake Young from the Sacramento Food Bank uh, that is, is doing remarkable work under tremendous uh, strains. And uh, I, I've just been amazed, Blake, at, uh, at, at, at your leadership and your flexibility and also just your team of people as you're trying to continue um, uh, the works of mercy uh, in a very concrete way. People can't, uh, people aren't able to go to mass, uh, but, they can, they, uh, but they are able to, to get food and the resources that they need and to be able to break bread with their families. And, that, and in large measure, that is because of some of the great work that you're doing. I want you to talk to us a little bit about that. You bet, Bishop Soto. Well, first, it's an honor to be here, and uh, it, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, um, express um, our gratitude for your love and support and your guidance uh, through this and uh, year-round. Um, yes, we are in a very uncertain time. Um, Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services, uh, in partnership with the Diocese and Catholic Charities, is, is doing the works of mercy, um, and that doesn't stop. So um, we have uh, really ramped up our production. Uh, we've seen a lot of unusual things happen uh, during these last three weeks. Uh, some unintended consequences that we've experienced is so many people have lost their jobs or have been temporarily, temporarily laid off. And uh, so we've seen a lot of single moms with children. We've seen a lot of families um, that have experienced this. And, uh, you know, we want to be um, there for them. Um, we've seen uh, over 65% of our 220 agencies that we work with out in the county uh, closed down because of this virus. So we're trying our best uh, to work with the groups of folks that we have and, uh, you know, as the news continues to say that our doctors and nurses are heroes, well, I can tell you that our staff and people in the Works of Mercy all over the diocese are heroes as well. And we continue uh, to do these good works. So um, right now we are focused on projecting what kind of food volumes we can sustain so we can continue to feed folks. Uh, we've modified a lot of our operations and programs. Uh, we've closed down our family services and redeployed all of our team uh, to the food bank side of the works uh, because we found that that's where the greatest right, need is. Right. So we've, um, we continue uh, to increase the volume of food going out and we're just continuing to monitor how best uh, we can deploy staff and in these modified ways of distributing, keeping in mind that hundreds, sometimes thousands of people are coming to our charities and so we're really uh, trying to keep good social distancing, provide, uh, keeping to the guidelines of the CDC, et cetera, and making sure our own staff is safe during this time. Yeah. You know, if someone wants to, um, you know, be part of this really just uh, Im important effort, you know, how are the ways that people can uh, be a part of the work that the Sacramento Food Bank is doing? The first two weeks of, of this pandemic, we saw a 75% drop in our volunteer force. Mm -hmm. I mean, mainly because the majority of people that work with us 65 are, are 65 older. years and older. Yeah. And, uh, and we wanted them to stay home and be safe. Um, but what we found is uh, a tremendous resurgence of folks that want to help out um, because now they're home. And uh, whether they have uh, middle schoolers or high school kids, they want an activity and, and volunteering in Catholic charities or for a food closet, et cetera, is an acceptable activity. Uh, so we want folks uh, to come uh, to our website, sacramentofoodbank.org, and sign up as a volunteer. Excellent, or, excellent. Or there's other uh, parishes throughout the diocese that do good works as well that partner with us that they could go there and volunteer. Um, another way uh, to help is just, you know, don donations. I mean, we, we have... Um, we have really quickly had to ramp up, and uh, there's a cost to that. So obviously people don't think about little things uh, that food banks use like boxes, 
uh, well, when you're buying thousands and thousands and thousands of boxes or um, sanitization gear for all of our folks out in the yeah, field, yeah. it's just a different. It's just a, a different ramping up that we've had to do. Well, but I, I just want to again uh, applaud the good work that you and your team are doing, and uh, and that and and as you've mentioned that this is uh, you're responding to this particular crisis, but the Sacramento Food Bank does this you know, 24-7, uh, all year round, and, uh, and it's just, uh, I'm very proud of, of the good work that Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services does, and the, and the s support that you give to our, uh, our, our neighbors who live on the margins, and now, um, and now even more of us, more of our neighbors who are, are feeling out of sorts because of the pandemic. So again, I uh, just wanna thank you, and, and I want to thank uh, all our, our listeners, uh, all who are, are watching this program, and, and encourage you to, uh, to see what we all can do uh, to help the good work of the Sacramento Food Bank, as well as all our other charities, uh, because in a very wea real way, we are bringing uh, the Lord's mercy um, by those good works and by the sacrifices we make uh, during this time. And, um, and, and to remember to pray. To pray that we can that all of all the folks at the Sacramento Food Bank and in the hospitals and law enforcement and in other areas that they can persevere and have the patience necessary to get us through this together, and that we we all pray for an end to this pandemic and that the Lord will show His mercy to us. So with that, uh, be assured of my prayers for all of you and your families. May God bless you. <laughs>